Hi guys, in today's video I'll be talking about how I package a pastel for shipping. I get a lot of um, people messaging me and asking me how should they package their pastels for shipping. Well this is how I do it and I'm telling you right now I don't package them to be pretty, I package them to be safe. Here in Canada we can't um, we can't ship glass and insure glass so I always ship my pastels unframed and so for this reason I make sure that I also package them very securely. So I get some display board in a dollar store, I get foam board from a dollar store as well, I have glassine, I have fragile stickers, I have washi tape but you can use masking tape or painters tape also and I have packing tape as well as scissors and I also usually put a thank you card and business cards and sometimes other little goodies into the package. I've already cut up my foam board according to the size of my painting and now I will cut my display board and I forgot to mention you'll also need a ruler, pencil as well as a box cutter and I cut this on my basement floor because it's cement and I just don't want to damage a good table so I get down on the floor to do this stuff and I make sure I measure everything properly and I also make sure that my display board piece is cut larger than what my painting will be. I want to make sure I have enough room all around that I could properly fold the cardboard over so that the um, painting will be well protected. And then I cut off one side of the uh, cardboard so that I can have the opposite side having a little lip that I can fold over it after. And disclaimer, when you're using the uh, cardboard cutter or the box cutter, please be very careful and don't cut yourself. For this reason, I like to use the uh, metal ruler. That way it's sturdy and just a little bit safer. And once that's cut up, I take my pastel and now uh, with the washi tape, I'm going to stick the painting onto the uh, pre-cut foam board. So I've, I've already cut it out to measure the size of the painting and I have a little bit left over on the sides. And with the washi tape, I just want to make sure I gently secure it. I'm very careful not to touch the pastel. I put the tape on the lip that I leave when I paint the pastel. I always leave a lip all around. And this helps me with the packaging. If I didn't leave that lip, I'd have a hard time taping down my pastel to this board. So this is why I like to leave a lip all around my work when I create it. And now for the sides, I just take smaller tape, smaller pieces of washi tape and I leave a little lip on the washi tape as well that way um, the client can just grab that little lip and gently pull it off and I always advise my clients to leave the painting onto this board until they're ready to bring it to the framers. Now I take my glassine sheet and very gently I make sure it covers the whole painting and then I take some more washi tape and I'm going to secure that on top and I'm going to tape down that piece of glassine sheet right over top of the whole painting and again, very carefully, I don't want anything moving. I'm going to take another piece of washi tape and I'm going to stick it in the back because I don't want the other piece of tape coming off. I just want to make sure everything is really secure and that once everything is packaged, nothing will be moving. It's the movement that could damage the pastel and as long as you've got everything nice and snug as a bug in there, it's not going to move and it's not going to get damaged. Now I take another piece and gently flip it over and tape it down very tightly. Again I have a lip here and now the client can lift up the glassine sheet, have a look at their painting and then place back the glassine sheet down until they're ready to bring it to the framers. I take another piece of foam board, place that on top and now very carefully I'm going to break off a piece of packing tape and I break it off because I want to make sure the top piece doesn't slide off. I don't want anything moving at this point so just gently flip the tape over and make sure I'm going to make it very secure. I, again I leave another little lip so that the client could just grab the lips and pull it off and I make sure that's nice and tight. It could still move at this point so I need to tape down the other sides as well. Gently flip it over, pull it tight. I make sure everything's tight. I don't want anything moving. That's the important part and again flip it over make it nice and tight and now that that's done now I'm ready to package it finish the, finish the packaging that is and put it in the box and I make sure I mark down what's front and back it makes it a lot easier for the client once they know and now I'm ready to finish packaging it 
and I had to cut out some parts here because there just wasn't any room to fit in the whole camera and I had to struggle to get the tape all around and the pieces folded down. So after I folded down my pieces, I make sure I tape them. And now I'm going to put a lot of tape on those edges. I don't want any of those pieces of tape breaking open. I make sure everything is really nice and tight and I make sure I put at least three layers of tape around each edge. I don't want any holes, I don't want any gaps, I want everything really tight and secure. So don't be afraid to use that packing tape. And also if you're not shipping with the signature, make sure that you possibly, or if you can possibly, take some, um, some shrink wrap before you put your packaged pastel into the final box. Just shrink wrap your work so that if in case it does get left out in the rain, at least it'll be protected. It has happened before to other people. So just be careful, be mindful of that. So I just make sure everything's taped down really nice and tight and secure. And that cardboard is tough, it's not going to bend. The pastel is not going to move in there. Everything's really nice and secure. And now I'm ready to put on my um, my fragile stickers as well as put the addresses on. And it's ready to ship. It's ready to bring to the shippers. And I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And until next time, take care.